Good afternoon, everyone. I think we all know that we live in an incredibly urbanized planet. But do you know that more than half of the world's population lives in cities right now? And by 2050, another 2.5 billion people will move to cities. Over the past decade, major shifts in demographics, travel behavior, technology, have changed how people travel. We now choose how we travel based on trip time, cost, comfort, and convenience. To support the growing urbanization of our planet, we need an alternative transportation option that reduces congestion, pollution, noise, and infrastructure. As an urban planner and project architect for Gannett Fleming, I am passionate about developing creative solutions for complex challenges that face our cities, especially how do we create and sustain transportation networks that are accessible, safe, and affordable. An innovative, solution-oriented consulting firm, Gannett Fleming, relies on a diverse team of experienced professionals to resolve complex problems. We're at the forefront of smart cities initiatives and are engaged daily in solutions that provide our cities a, the guide to the fourth industrial revolution. It's that commitment to innovation that drew Uber to invite us to join them and participate in this Uber Elevate Summit to redefine transportation and its system in reshaping the future of our cities. Uber knows that the next challenge is to take to the air. We have a tremendous opportunity to rewrite how transportation systems work and to reshape our urban environments to be cleaner, safer, less conjected, and smarter. Ultimately, Gannett's goal and Uber's goal are the same, and that's to make transportation more accessible, reliable, convenient for everyone everywhere. The challenge, as John mentioned, is to try to get rollout in 2020, a skyport that can handle 150 vehicles per hour. And by 2023, to have a system that can handle more than 600 people and move more than 4,000 people in an hour. A big part, okay, a big part of the interface that we need to do as architects and urban planners is integrate the ground and the air movement. Uber has challenged us to create an entirely new urban intermodal hub, the Skyport. But we need to enhance the user experience, but keep an eye on the other modes of transportation so that our Skyport interfaces with that last mile. Walking, biking, Ubering, it's pretty amazing that in eight years a company has become a verb. And interfacing with public transportation. To solve the challenge, we looked at various automated solutions. But moving parts means more maintenance and more headaches. So we went to a static solution that optimizes space and VTOL movement, all based on the FAA clearances, as you see here. We developed a module that we believe optimizes the configuration for vertical takeoff and landings, charging, and passenger loading. We call it the PAW, obviously. It's modular, it's easy to construct, and developed to support 52 VTOLs per hour. The PAW can be designed to be a single, a double, a quad, depending upon the site requirements and transportation demands. It's easily replicated, with the same level of efficiency and practicality. And as a single, it can be a standalone component, or as in this case, built on top of an office building within a crowded urban area to access the urban core below. However, the most viable and readily available real estate in crowded and heavily populated urban areas are parking garages. So as a double or a quad, the PAW can easily be adapted to the top of a parking garage using the existing infrastructure of the parking garage to connect to that last mile ground transportation. 
However, to introduce a VTOL Skyport into a developed community, we've got to be really careful about issues regarding noise and the impact on the environment. So we also design an acoustic barrier around the perimeter that from the ground allows the VTOLs to be virtually inaudible. We reduce the undesirable noise impact by deflecting the noise upward and letting the downwash from the VTOLs go through the system and not affect them as they take off. The challenge for the 2025 is to develop a Skyport that's capable of 150 vehicles uh, and departures per hour. Now, with optimum weather and passenger uh, involvement, we believe we can do that. We believe our PAW can go 52 in an hour. And what you're watching here is what we call aeronautical choreography. And this is achieved through ca careful planning of vehicle landings, takeoffs, offloading of passengers, charging, loading, and returning to FATO. However, in order to do that, the optimum throughput we need, we need, we needed to develop a very simple way, because remember, we didn't want any moving parts, a very simple way to rotate these vehicles 180 degrees and get them back. So we developed a small little uh, wire-guided robot based on Amazon's warehouse robots. It'll come in, the vehicle will land right and catch the front wheels of the uh, VTOL and picked up and turned around. I'll explain it a little bit more later. But how are we going to take what we've done in terms of this four quad pod and turn it into a building that fits within the framework of a city urban environment and have no impact on the community? As architects and designers, we looked towards the beauty of nature for inspiration. Nature has been called the greatest architect of forms. The dragonfly lands on a lily pad, his phaedo. We saw our phaedos as lily pads and saw that the underside of the phaedo is our inspiration. We designed an elegant solution of support to support our landing pads with a fluid and organic structure that rises out of the ground with smooth and sweeping forms, grounding the lily pads, and creating a framework from which to develop an intermodal transportation hub. The fourth level of the, of the complex is surrounded by graceful fingers that support the glazed noise reduction system. The terminals are located on top, and they're designed to be aerodynamic, to once again avoid the backwash from the VTOLs, downwash. The roof structure is made of multiple layers. Base layer is normal concrete. However, the middle layer is made up of photovoltaic cells, and the top layer is a protective layer of transparent concrete. So the entire top level of the skyport will produce energy from the sun and return it to the grid. The second and third levels can be multiple things. We've shown them here as storage for autonomous vehicles to be recharged with the same battery system that's recharging the VTOLs. As an alternate, it could be a, a conference center. It also could be storage for VTOLs coming down from up above. The first level is where we interface with the community, alluring people through the transparent and intriguing glass facade. The site is also plan to fit within the fabric of any urban environment interfacing with ground-based transportation. This level is also designed to have public amenities such as retail areas, restaurants, and creating revenue sources for the public sector. It will also house the large capacity battery storage to recharge the VTOLs and the autonomous vehicles. Using natural and sustainable materials, we created an interior that is seamless transition from the outside to the inside. Even the structural elements pierce the exterior skin to convey the transparent nature of the building envelope. Wayfinding is intuitive. Entering the building on the street level, your phone tells you where to go, an interactive app on your handheld device, as well as interactive kiosks direct you to your next mode of transportation. Following a simple color-coded wayfinding system, you're led swiftly and effortlessly 
through to your destination. Along the way, the FAA safety briefings appear on your handheld device, as well as being replayed in the elevators and escalators on your way up. The elevators are all color-coded to send you to the appropriate terminal on the fourth level. After a swift and informed transition from the ground level to the fourth level, passengers arrive at the top and are following cues of the handheld device. Passengers then check into a kiosk and exit through a controlled turnstile with the corresponding colors. And then once onto the landing pad, you're directed to your VTOL by illuminated walkway directly to the right FATO. Leonardo da Vinci said, once you have tasted flight, you will walk the earth with your eyes turned upward. For there you have been and there you will want to go. Our Skyport is an integral component to the transportation evolution envisioned by Uber. While Uber VTOLs will transform the notion of passenger movement, Gannett Skyport will provide an integral connection between the urban mobility of today and tomorrow. Thank you very much. Michael Kaiser, Principal, Beck.